Yo. What is up, suck mother lovers? How you doing? Us. How y'all doing, suck mother lovers? I know. We're not gonna even go through it. Let's just let's just act like I just recorded a video last week and just Keep it moving. Okay, we're gonna do that. I know a lot of you guys was like, Trinity, like some of you guys have been on my Instagram, straight flexing. I got a muscle. Mm. It's still, it's because I'm bloated. It, you know, my muscles, when I'm bloated, they don't, they don't appear as well. But I got muscles. Anyway, a couple of you guys have been on my Instagram and on my Facebook. It's like, Trinity, you're not recording no more videos? Well, the thing is, yes, I'm gonna record videos. And you ask me if I'm doing reviews. Well, the question, the, the answer is yes, I'm doing reviews. But it just depends on, when I'm doing those reviews, because I'm like, oh my god, I gotta tell myself the bubble of this, and I'm like, out like a light bulb. That's the problem. Y'all don't understand. Did I tell y'all that I work ten hour days? Like the only day that I only work four hours is on Friday. By Friday, y'all don't want to hear from me, and I don't want to hear from y'all. And I'm just kidding. I always want to hear from y'all, but y'all ain't gonna want to hear from me because y'all gonna be out in the streets. So anybody gonna be watching? I'm be talking about hello. hello. Ain't nobody gonna be there. But anyway, let me get into the purpose of this video. This is a fake review. What I mean by that is I want to talk about Real Housewives of Atlanta. I have been watching the show. I've been keeping up with the show. And it was one thing that I noticed. You know, Miss Claudia and all her goddamn bunions and her uh, coins on her feet. I want to talk about this whole thoughtism situation. The, uh, top, the topic of this video, and I'm just going to come up with it right now. Da -da 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 -da. Are you a thought? No, that's not a good one. Da -da 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 -da. Is he or she off limits? Boom, there it is. Is he or she off limits? Now the reason why I said that is because I immediately wanted to be Portia and I wanted to drag Ken Kenya's ass all the way through. You see, Kenya was crying. I was like, you know that man, everybody thinking that I was just this big and this old. Uh, newsflash, ho, you are one. Let me explain to you, Miss Kenya, why you a ho. I want you to go back maybe, what, two seasons ago? Maybe that was one when you was talking about Apollo was kind of fine. Bitch, I ain't forgot. Okay, so that was already strike one through eight because, okay, it's okay. We know that you got eyes and they not broken and we understand that Apollo is a fine man. However, ho, you out of line. Sit there playing in the pool. Oh my God, getting your weed wet. Bitch, you know that's against rules. You only get your weed wet for somebody that you are really interested in. Hello. So all the bullshit you talking, come on, pipe it down. It's just the fact that your shiznit has been called out, and now somebody is like, oh, you a hoe, and now you like, no, not a hoe. I'm just a woman with a big booty, and I don't, shut up, you a hoe. Anyway, moving right along. Now, Apollo, now, hello, hello. Apollo was wrong, too. Apollo was definitely wrong for lying on her, and Apollo was definitely wrong for flirting with this woman. Both parties was wrong. I'm not saying the king was e any more wrong than Apollo, whatever. But I want to fast forward to Sunday. I was about to call him Claudel. Cordelium is in the building or whatever because he is now uh, the partner of, uh, oh my gosh, what is Cynthia's husband name? Peter. She, he is now the partner. I should I should have called him she. No T, all shade. But he is now the part of, uh, partner of Peter, you know, and all of a sudden, Kenya want to play matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match or whatever. And I'm like, see, that's why your ass got drugged on the last reunion show. I mean, I understand it was because of the fan, but I'm just going to go with that. See, those are grounds to being drugged through a neighborhood. Like, I believe in dragging people through the neighborhood with absolutely no problem. And we can go and have some great people afterwards, but biatch, I'm going to drag you today. You disrespect me, we got some issues. That's just simply how it goes. I have no filter. I'm going to tell you how I feel, and then we're going to address the issue. If that commits of me dragging you through a neighborhood, and then we talk about it, that's fine. That's what it's going to be. But something's going to happen to you. Now, I'm not threatening you. I'm making you a promise that if you mess with me or mine, this is about to go down. Because I do not play. Okay? All right? Hello. I'm sorry. I just had a moment. That's for any thought that's watching my video that want to try me. Let me try me. Try me. Always keep an eye on your ass. Yes, I do. Okay. Whoop. Back to this video. Lord, I thought somebody was upstairs looking at me. I was, let me tell you, this was going to be recorded and I was going to be like, excuse me. Out the front door I was going. I don't play around. I'm not about to be like, John, is that you? Hell no, because I don't know John live here. <sighs> Y'all know sometimes I go on my rants. I'm back. Back to King. Y'all ain't think I was going to remember where I was. But I remember where I was because this shit really bothered me. Excuse my mouth because I have no filter today. For real, for real. Because I just did not approve of the fact that, first of all, let's just X-Nate. 
uh, Kenya out of the situation. Let's forget about the fact that she hugged Portia and they cool and all this stuff. Let's forget all that. Let's just focus on Bunyan and Portia. Let's, that's all we're going to do is fo focus on them too. With that being said, I feel like where is the meaning? Where is the line that has been crossed to say that it's okay to go after somebody's man, girl, wife, husband, side, like what, what's the thin line? For me, I feel like, Claudia, remember she said she ran track? I feel like this whole went long jumped up over the line. Like that's how I feel because I feel like if you are speaking to her and you know, we're cool and all this crap, you know, but y'all kind of have a moment, to me, that's inappropriate. The way I'm set up, now, okay, let me tell y'all how I'm set up. If I've dated someone and this person just, ooh, it just was kind of like a kindergarten thing, it just didn't work out or whatever, and that person may be better for the next, you know, the next just may be my friend. Now, I may, you know, I'm going to give you the heads up or, you know, what it is or whatever, you know, you make your decision the way I'm set up. I don't believe in leftovers unless they, unless they were cooked on my stove. That's just how I'm set up. You know, I'm not, I, I just, I just don't believe in recycling. Like, I, you know, I believe in recycling paper, but not, you know, men's and women's, you know, I love women, I love women. I've been delivered. <laughs> Woo! No, I'm serious though. Like, and so for me, I'm like, I, I, I don't know. I guess I'm just set up differently. I feel like if I call you a friend, that's just a for sure no no. Like, I mean, if you guys exchange numbers and y'all talked on the phone a couple of times about Real Housewives of Atlanta, then okay, that's different. But like, there was some dating involved, and then there was intimacy. I say, it's not like I say intimacy, but I swear I'm all clogged up. Intimacy. <laughs> See, but. Yeah, no, I, I just, I, I, I can't because I'm not going to look at you because I don't want to slap shit out you and be like, you know what, you hump my friend. You hump my friend. Now, I, I just, I just can't. Like, I'm really sitting up here. The reason why I keep looking up because I'm really trying to think if I've ever, like, talked to a friend's ex. And no, I hadn't. It's happened to me. No tea. Oh, Shay. Now, I didn't forgave and I didn't move on, but I bitch I ain't forgot. Now, again, these cases were cases of, you know, they were medium, you know, we dated, we hung out. I ain't like you, your breath is probably stinking or something, you know, maybe your underarms or whatever the case, you know, pass it to the homies. You know, women do that too. We gonna pass it to the homies, all good, you know, shoot, whatever. But I guess for me, with this situation, there were nuptials involved, you know, and it's like you, you, you saw, I don't care who you are, you saw what was going on with Portia and how that was just a nasty divorce. And for you to be sitting up there taking selfies or whatever, and, you know, and, and I know it was mostly Kenya, but, you know, to me, Claudia did play a part in it. And I, now I can see why Nene said that you clicked and left your body. Because, you know, to me, I just feel like he should at least have been off limits. Now, I could be wrong now. Now, we enemies. I just may on purpose uh, be like, mm. now that could be the case. Now, if that's the case, then, you know, Claudia go on there. But... I guess just for me, this is exactly like my friends tease me all the time, but this is exactly why there are still memberships pending to be my friend. And I'm not saying like I'm just, oh my God, everybody want to be Trinity friend. That's not the case. But I have people that are associates and they have been associates for over 10 years. I am not lying to you. And it's so funny because when people are like, oh, y'all friends. No, no, no. That's my associate. We cool. We may shake a tail feather. We may go have a drink together or something like that. But as far as somebody being my friend, no. I expose way too much to my friends, including my heart. So, ah, see, and if you mess with my heart as a friend, whatever, I'm going to have to cut you. That's just, it's part of the friend con contract. And this is not one you can burn because I had that whole laminated and this printed on wood too. So you can try to burn if you want to, but I have some um, anti-flammable stuff on it where you can't burn it. <laughs> anyway. I don't know. I guess just for me, I just really wanted to ask you, second mother lovers, like, what's, like, off limits to you guys? Like, what do you consider, like, no, I can't do that. For me, let me tell you what it is. If you a friend, I'm sorry, I'm just not going to go there. You know, now, if it's somebody that you was like, you know, they thought I was cute, but, eh, you know, whatever, that's different. But I don't know if I really want to be, because to me, that's still kind of like, well, you kind of like low-key only talking to me because my friend didn't want you. I don't really want that either. But the way I'm set up, I just, I just, it's too many people in the world to be set up there like, well, I mean, I know y'all just like kind of like just dated for like four months. So that's not, I just, it's too many people. Like, no, just, it wasn't meant for us to be. You know, now on the flip side, like if you and I are speaking, you know, like, hey, what's up? You know, whatever. I would give that thought. 
you know, and if y'all had a serious relationship, you know, or whatever, not. Nah. Like, I just, first of all, I tell people all the time, you know, because I've had some insecure women that, you know, have been around. Like, I don't want you talking to her and all this stuff. I was like, let me tap you on the shoulder and explain to you how I work. If I talk to you and if I speak to you and if we have any conversations or if we're conversing in any kind of way, I don't give a damn. We're just talking about the Houston, Texas. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. But if I sit up there and look you dead in your face and I say absolutely nothing, bitch, you don't want to have something to worry about. Now, I'm going around Mr. Stillaho. I'm not that person. That has not, that is not my character. I'm too old. I have a gray hair. That's just not the way I get down. You know, but back, back, back in my day, absolutely, freaking lovely. Bitch, I'm not talking to you. You may want to watch him. I'm just saying. But it's just not how I'm set up now. I don't, it's just too many people in the world to be sitting up there, you know, doing all that when she watches stuff. But I don't know. I just really thought it was just some shady, shady stuff, you know, for them to, you know, pull that. But maybe Portia going to drag her too. Portia is such, she is such a thought this, uh, I was going to say this semester, this season. She just walked where everybody else got on their sundresses. Portia's like, epic. I'm living it all out. You know, I couldn't go to the strip club. After that, I'm going to be the stripper this season. <laughs> baby, Miss Portia is giving y'all all of life. And Nene, baby. Nene didn't apologize four times in one season. The hell? The hell has definitely froze over for sure. Anyway, second my lovers, this video is definitely long enough. I actually am going to have to try to start doing my random videos again so I can just kind of be uploading more because I don't know. I think, because see, if you see, I'm still in my work clothes. I'm about to say my night clothes. If I get undressed, that's it. Because I be on the couch, I'm like, they don't want to see me in my t-shirt and my drawers. Because I don't wear panties, I wear drawers. You know, I'm panties for them little kids, I wear drawers. <laughs> okay, for As always, this video is long enough. If you're not following me, I mean, that Trinity Comedy works on Twitter, on Instagram, Straight Flex, and what else I'm on? Well, on Facebook, I'm, um, my uh, fan page is Trinity Newman. You can go like that, too. I don't mind if you like it. I need to update my pictures, though, because it still show me with straight hair. And I see some of y'all be viewing and y'all don't like it. Y'all petty. Did you petty? Use right. <laughs> All right. Anyway, as always, I said it already. It's long enough. I'm out. I'm going to put on my drawers. If you one of them heifers that I think is going to try to hunt my piece while I ain't around, your membership for friendship is denied. <laughs>